I'm Courtney Gaspar. And I'm Laura Mullis. And we're here at Oven Auditorium interviewing Laval Smith, Jr. How did you become Michael's choreographer? Well, I auditioned for Smooth Criminal, and I uh, worked on Michael as a dancer in Smooth Criminal, and he said that the first time that he saw me dance on the set of Smooth Criminal, that he knew he wanted me to be on his tour, his first solo tour, the bad tour. So were they looking for, like, skill or look? Like... You know, I think it was a combination of everything. Um, he said that he wanted guys that were similar to his height within a few, um, you know, inches, and and great dancers that could do everything. And so I think yeah, that's kind of did it. With Michael being such a, a major influence, was it hard choosing the person to play in the tribute? You know, I think Darren did a great job. He has the best of both. He has Pete, who does a certain kind of Michael songs, and then he has a Jeffrey Perez. So Pete Carter and Jeffrey Perez, I think, are the best choices. there. picked the right guys. And now he has a new guy that's here, Michael Morey, who will be stepping in. Were you the one that had to choose um, the, back, the backup dancers, or what did you Yeah, choose? Um, for the back tour, I'm just a, I was a dancer. And Dangerous is when I started choreographing for Michael. I did um, Jam, the stage version of Jam. And also, he let me uh, create Dangerous. So after that, I kind of became his choreographer. Yeah, I would have I would help him pick the people, the right people for him. Were you also looking for like skills and looks at the same thing? Always. I come from a technique background, but technique is always not enough. Sometimes, you know, a person who's never studied is great too. So it's, it's a combination of everything. Just people who are hard workers, because Michael believes in hard work, and he taught me that too. So we want people who are hard workers and people who are just great dancers. Pop, switch, switch, up, hit. Yeah? Want to get one more time? Yeah. Yes, exactly. And think of, keep that switch, switch really low. Pop, pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, pop, pop, switch, switch, up, and hit. Yeah? All right. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Hit, hit, switch, switch, up, hit. Who came up with the idea of this one? Darren Ross, the producer, came up with it. Yeah. And um, how do you pick the dances or the choreography that you're going to be doing in this tour? Yeah, I think those are pretty much all Derek's choices. I mean, Michael has classic songs that we all know him for, Billy Jean, uh, Dangerous, and Smooth Criminal. So it's important, whenever, I think, whenever you do a tribute show, and I do these all around the world, and I think it's important to pick the numbers that the people want to see, give them what they want, give them the things that Michael's known for. Right. and. Um, how do you feel that Michael's family or even his fans feel about this book? You know, I think people really love it. It's, I think it's an opportunity for people who didn't get to see him perform live. They get a chance to see what it might have been like to see an actual concert. And I think for people who've been there before to see his concerts, it's just a nice reminder of how wonderful he was and all the magic and music he gave us. Okay, so Michael Jackson was known for his amazing dance moves. So, how about the people who are impersonating Michael Jackson? How are they with their dance moves? They're great. You know, I think when you really want to do something like this seriously, you have to study him. It's a person that, and there's so many facets, there's so many decades of Michael Jackson. So, if you're really going to do it, I think you have to know those decades and, and know all those, those hit songs. Of course. With the producer picking out the dances, are you still using the same dance moves that you used when you were choreographing for Michael Jackson? Yes, yeah, I think it's important to get as much as we can to give the authenticity to that, yeah. And we're, and we're trying to stay true to that. And are you um, teaching dances for anyone else? Yeah, I would say I, I do Michael Jackson tribute shows all around the world. And um, yeah, so there's other artists, other tribute artists I work with in, um, in South America, Brazil. Italy, Russia now, so it's a lot, and it, it's kind of cool. It just, you know, it it can be hard sometimes because you remind all the good, and I remind people of the good times with him. But at the same time, there's a level of uh, I get to remember all those good times. Yes. So I try to turn that that little bit of pain into something positive. So it's kind of nice to be around it.
Um, and who are some of the other people that you have choreographed? Oh gosh, well obviously Michael Jackson, uh, Diana Ross, Beyonce, I work with Prince, George Michael, um, TLC, Destiny's Child, Janet Jackson. Wow. Um, yeah, a lot of commercials. Yeah, just all kinds of things like that. But I like to. I'm lucky. I'm, I feel very blessed to work with so many legends. Wow. Oh, I forgot. So One of my favorites, uh, Mick Jagger. I love him. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> that is so crazy. Now I know why. Like they all have such good dance moves. <laughs> they all learn from the oh, same thank person. You. Here we go. Five, six, here we go. And hit, hit, switch, switch, and whoop. 